kiddos. Super fast demo, not sure if you can see me, I hope you can, um, on what we do before we sit down at the wheel. First thing is grab a two pound block of clay. You'll grab that from the bin that is closer to the wall, not the one that's closer to the room that we usually use, but the one that's in back, the black bin with the yellow lid closer to the wall. It'll look something like this. Okay, first thing you wanna do is you wanna wedge it. And we're wedging it for a couple of reasons. This is reclaimed clay. And even though it's come out of the pug mill, those little S cracks that I was talking to you about, those can happen with clay that comes out of the pug mill. Additionally, this clay is really, um, it's really wet. It's actually really, really plastic. And you can see that it's sticking to my fingers. And so wedging will actually take some of that water out. You can see the water here on the canvas. All right. So you're gonna wedge it up really well. You can even change it here. Remember, wedging, push down, out, up. Down, out, up, and it becomes one motion, right? Okay, and you get something that looks like a little ram's head. And just keep doing that until you feel like you have clay that feels a little bit drier, feels really workable, and feels really consistent. And then I want you to um, cut it in half. I don't have a wire tool with me, so I'm just going to kind of twist it, but you can use a wire tool. You have one at each of your stations to do that. And you want two chunks, each one about a pound. And each day when you throw, you're getting two one pound balls of clay. You're going to work with one until you've ruined it. And then you're going to work with the other until you've ruined it. Um, we're not keeping anything at all this first week. We are just practicing and playing with the clay. All right, so once you've done that, once you've done your wedging, you're just gonna make each into a little ball like that, and then you are going to be ready to go to your assigned wheel. 